Welcome back to the channel. Jack with Crank Chronicles here. Uh, back with another uh, trailer reaction review uh, video. And yeah, um, I, it's like <laughs> almost 3 a.m. And I thought I'd put out some videos that I've actually seen the trailer to. Um, a few of them. And, uh, but I didn't really... It'd be nice to kind of discuss them and whatever. And I've only seen them once. Um, maybe twice depending. Um, so we're going to watch the Spider-Man uh, No Way Home trailer. And, um, yeah, um, uh, we'll just check it out and, uh, discuss it here. Um, pretty excited for the movie. I just, I like the, the Spider-Man franchise and where it's been going. So, uh, let's, uh, check it out real quick here. You always have the, I don't, I'm not a fan of bumpers oh, or whatever they're called. Yeah, this kind of reveal at the end, the last movie, kind of rubbed me the wrong way, kind of, but so I hope they do a good, his identity thing. Now that everybody knows you don't really have to hide or lie to people. For the record, I never wanted to lie to people. Like, how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? Now everybody knows. But this isn't about me. This is hurting a lot of people. I've just been thinking about how to fix all of this. <laughs> so, Peter, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Please, we saved half the universe together. I think we're beyond you calling you, sir. Okay, Steven. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. <laughs> I love the two interacting, those two. Think he's going to fight with abomination there? Is that where he's going? Our world is about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider Man. Wait, everyone? Okay, some people still know. That's not how the spell works. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the spell. Oh my god, Ned, he's my best friend. Oh, my Aunt May should really be talking. <laughs> So right there, it looks like they're combating each other. So. Oh no, happy. Got the green goblin. Be careful what you wish for, Parker. Hello, Peter. <laughs> So this December, not too bad. Well, there's that. Um, yeah, I think it's a really good trailer. Um, as I mentioned, I'm a big fan of the uh, Spider-Man franchise. I, I like Holland as Spider-Man. Um, I actually like Tobey Maguire as well. I was a fan of the original trilogy minus the third movie. I almost walked out of the theater in that one. But yeah, that's whatever but i really like the first and especially the second movie and i think that's universal and then it's got doc ock which was from the second movie um so yeah a lot of people are i'm not gonna freak out i didn't freak out even everybody not everybody but anybody keeping track of anything knew who was post potentially being in it but uh molina is his name he was he was reprising his role and it was known a while back so it wasn't like a huge shock but it's it's cool to see him in there um uh, I'm really curious what they do. Holland just came out with a statement stating that this is like wrapping up the um, the Homecoming, uh, I'm assuming trilogy or whatever, which makes sense. I don't know if that's trying to say that uh, it's going to be the last Spider-Man only movie, um, but it'll be interesting. But for the past 
few years now there's been the whole battle with licensing and everything between Disney and Marvel and and Sony and whatever so uh, they've got their temporary thing going but even this last two years ago or year and a half or whatever it's been a while now you know they're threatening that the Spider-Man is going to be able to be used in the MCU and all this and who knows so either way he was kind of I uh, just brought out a statement that that would be like the wrapping up of the homecoming so uh, I guess it would kind of make sense. I feel like it would be option to have more movies beyond it, but I could see him also being just Spider-Man in general. I think it's too big of a thing to like not have their own movies. So, but maybe they're just moving beyond that, and who knows? Because well, with the multiverse, who knows what the heck they're gonna do? But I could also see Spider-Man being uh, relegated to just you know uh, appearances, guest appearances, or ensemble events and casts and stuff so who knows kind of like Doctor Strange is appearing in here and then he's going to have his own movie I could see Spider-Man being sprinkled throughout other uh, movies in MCU but who knows it just seems like it's a little too big of a character and too big of a success to like not do their own his own series as well continuing the franchise in some way so I don't know but Either way, that trailer is really good. Uh, I would give it an Oh My Nuts rating of uh, 9.0 because I am really excited about it. Uh, it, was, it was just a teaser trailer, but, you know, so we'll find out when the t trailer comes out. It's got to be coming out soon here uh, if it's coming out in December. So I'm um, looking forward to that. I'm not a big fan of the multiverse thing with Endgame and the whole different timelines, time travel, multiverse, altered dimension, all this stuff. It's like, yeah, I get it. It's in the comics and stuff too, and they can do a wide variety of things, and that's cool, but I also know that there's a lot of crap in the comics <laughs> that are just not really good and whatever, but, you know, maybe they can do it right. Who knows? I just worry that they'll just maybe now start going off the rails. Um, second Spider-Man, I liked... I think a little less than the first one in different ways like I liked it more in some ways and less in others it felt like it was kind of like repeating some of the first movie um even some of the gags and the comedic relief stuff and so it was kind of I didn't like that but I really like Jake Gyllenhaal Mysterio and the interactions there and and a lot of the scenes were cool and just how they kind of portrayed it was actually pretty good i did like i said i had a little bit of an issue at the end of the movie i was kind of surprised when they did the whole reveal of the whole J. Jonah jameson and revealing the identity and how that's now it just seems like it's like super rushed out of the blue and so i don't i'm really kind of curious how it goes obviously they're trying to race it maybe they do successfully do that and then the rest is kind of just whatever happens then you know and maybe it'll be some other kind of alternate thing. Who knows? But And we'll still have to see if the other Spider-Man in it. I know everybody's hypothesizing about it. But, uh, yeah, I think that'd be cool. So, if you could get, I know, was it Garfield or whatever saying that that is not a case or he's not? Who knows? I never saw the Amazing Spider-Man series. So, I, I'm kind of indifferent. I like the actor, but I just, I don't know why. Spider-Man's one of my favorites. I just never saw him. So, I'll have to watch him. I know people are not a fan, especially the second one, but who knows? Um, might be worth checking out, and uh, yeah. Obviously, I would love the MCU to be the ones that... I wish they had Venom. <laughs> but, like, the Sinister Six would be amazing if they did that, but I know I think Sony was attempting to do their own Sinister Six, but I don't know if they have since, like, backed away from that or not, and I have not seen uh, either Venom movie, so I don't know. And then you have... Mobius coming out? Is it coming out? I don't know. Mobius was supposed to be coming out. <laughs> I thought already by now, but I know all the delays and all that other stuff. But um, we'll see. Because <laughs> they seem to be having a lot of the villain uh, uh, movies. <laughs> so we'll see. But uh, either way, uh, what did you think about this trailer? Are you excited about the new Spider-Man? Um, were you a fan of Tom Holland and his portrayal of Spider-Man and the last two movies? Were there... Did you like the second part of the first? Do you think this will be better? Uh, one thing, I'm not a fan of the, like, I think it's the Iron Man suit or whatever the suit he's using where it's just, like, forms around him. He doesn't, I don't know. I guess I'm just old school. I guess I just, like, whatever. <laughs> it just seems like it's just so convenient. Now they don't have to worry about whatever. It's just, like, he just can, the suit's just there. And to that, he's good to go. But 
whatever. So that's a probably just a minor uh, irk of mine. But yeah, otherwise, I don't know. I'm hoping they do it justice and do it good, and they just don't go completely off the rails. So yeah, let me know what you think below. Um, I look forward to uh, seeing your comments and maybe having a discussion. So yeah, um, thanks for checking out the video. Until next time, take care.